Hello, Linda Artisani, Artisani Bookkeeping. I thought I would do a quick video. Actually, I'm going to use my um, my own company file, which is a, a, a property management firm, to show you how I work with HubDoc and taking away some of my data entry issues, which is why I love QuickBooks Online and why I love HubDoc. So let's go to my HubDoc page. And I'm going to show you here, um, we've got a bill that came in from National Grid. Now National Grid is terrible, they'll email it. So I have it set up so it will email it directly to my HubDoc account. And this is how it comes in and, and there's really no way to do this. This is a bill that's for electricity. As you can see, it's electricity service and it's going to be paid, direct pay plan. I have it set up so they pay automatically. So I just really need to enter this as a check. I'm not gonna enter it as a bill. Although I can view the bill and, and see how I'm doing with my electric electric charges and make sure that's not something weird going on, but it's about what my bill is per month. So I, I have it emailed directly to HubDoc. Now, because there's a little green check mark here next to this transaction, I know that this transaction has been, because I set it up, automatically published to QuickBooks. The check mark means it's in my QuickBooks account and I've linked my QuickBooks account already to this HubDoc account. So, since I already set this up, I need to go in and look to see if this 32104 is actually in QuickBooks for my electric bill. And I also want to make sure that the date got picked up right because there's a lot of dates on this particular transaction. I want to make sure that it shows that the bill is going to be paid on, um, on the date that it says it's going to be deposited, uh, taken out of my account, which is 1214. So let's go into my account. I'm going to go to expenses. I'm going to find national grid. I've got two national grids in, in Rhode Island. There's a national grid uh, for gas and a national grid for electric. And it was 32104. So here's my bill. The problem is HubDoc sent this over, but I want to see what it attached to it. So I'm just going to open up the attachment to see what it was, and it's got this here that shows me my e-bill. Problem is, is if I go back to my HubDoc account, the actual bill that I would normally get in the mail, but I've stopped the mailed ones and had them come in, is actually here, but as you can see with National Grid, I get this, I get a spiraling circle. I can't really view the bill. So what I do is I come over here to download. It's because it's locked. So National Grid, for some reason, locks the electric bill. The password is the zip code from my account. For this particular property. I type it in and it's going to bring up my bill. So here it is saying my direct bill pay will be on 12-14. If I go down a couple pages, here's my actual bill and I can see you know what I paid last month was 206. It's winter time up there now so it's getting cold. Furnace is running, the electric is on because the lights are coming on earlier. So I can see this is my actual bill. I want to put this on my on my account, but I can't attach it without attaching it. I don't want to set send the uh, this to and set it up in HubDoc to send this over because it doesn't bring it through because it's locked. So I want to attach this. So what I'm going to do here, and I have to do this with all the electric bills, unfortunately, it's a lot of steps. But what I do here is I just created a little email so I can send the attachment. I'm going to come back to my national grid. I'm also going to attach that transaction that I just created an email for. So I'm just opening up the screen. I'm going to drag and drop this in, which is what's great about QuickBooks Online. I no longer need this. And so now I'm here, and now I've got the bill attached, and I've got the little overview thing attached. The date, it came in as 1128. I know it's going to get withdrawn out of my account on 1214. And as you know with QuickBooks Online, if it's in one, if you've got the transaction dated in one month and the transaction actually happens in another month, it won't see it to match it in the bank feed. So I do want that to see the transaction. I don't want to get, have it entered twice. Once all that is done, because this is an automatic payment, I want to come back here and I'm just going to go here. This is not something that you would normally do in HubDoc, but it's something that I like to do. So I see lots of green check marks. I just click paid. And then now that shows as paid, and I'm going to come over here and click this one as paid. So now I know where I left off. I know where I'm at. And if I come way down here, you can see all these are done. So I don't click paid until it's paid. 
Here's another one, A1 Answering Service. So I've already pre-coded this. I actually, this one comes in the mail. They don't do mail. Um, they don't do anything other than snail mail for their bills. And I want to, it's my answering service, I want to have this in QuickBooks. Instead of me typing it in, I've already preset this and set it up so that it goes automatically into QuickBooks. So I just scanned it and and dragged and dropped it actually by hitting add receipt and I dragged and dropped it here. So when I have some times you still have hard to believe we don't have everybody email billing, but some companies don't do email billing. So I just do that. So here I want to check it because it kind of came in a little crooked and sometimes when it comes in crooked, it may not pick up the right amounts. So now I want to go back to my vendors and find a one answering service and see if I can look at it and it says I owe $75.91, which is the one. So now I know this is correct. I might want to because this is several buildings and I know where my empty building was this past month. So that's where most of the phone calls came in. So I'm going to attach it to that class. And I have it preset to a class, but I change that usually monthly. So now that I know this is correct, so what I will do is I'm going to click onto my bank account, pay this bill, and then I'm going to apply it to to pay it electronically so I don't have to print a check. So I've got this system working where it may seem like a lot of steps, but it works for me because now I can log into my bank account and I've verified it. I always double check my figures with HubDoc because I just want to make sure. So now I want to pay my bill and I want to pay A1. So I'm just going to click pay my bills. I'll come back over here and just click make a payment. And then I'm just going to copy this come back to my bills. I'm going to make a payment. I've already got all my vendors in my bank, my online banking. A1 answering, I'm going to right click and paste it. I'm paying it today. I'm going to slide down here. I have a lot of vendors here. I'm going to hit make the payment. And now I'm just going to take this confirmation number from my bill payment and move that back over here to my payment itself for my reference number. Working in HubDoc and how I work in it, it's a wonderful program, um, especially when you have this kind of a business where you've got, I've got a maintenance man in Rhode Island and he purchases things at, you know, Home Depot, things in apartment things. And then he just takes a photograph on his phone and it uploads it into the HubDoc account. So I don't have to worry about him losing any receipts. We haven't really lost any receipts because of this We've got this system set up where he'll, you know, any bill that he pays with a credit card, he pulls it in. I've got the credit card hooked up to QuickBooks. So all I have to do is come over to my dashboard, my banking. I'll pull this in. I'll look on the account. And I'm, now I know I'm missing one HubDoc. Um, he did not HubDoc this one's receipt. So I can ask him, hey, you know, where is the receipt for 1120, which would which would be he should have hub docked it by now because it's December 1st so maybe he didn't bring it in and it's in his truck but normally he would you know take a picture upload it to hub doc I attach it which is another thing I love about hub doc I mean it's just there I'm trying to find one here's a Lowe's so you can see he went to Lowe's and he bought some things and it was for Wheeler Avenue and I can just click here and say well what did he what did he buy again for $34 and now I can see he bought a coupling drain hose must have been a leak in a faucet or something like that. So now I've got the ability to, to tie back to my figures. So if I submit these reports, um, my husband and I own this property, but if this was a client, if I submit these reports to the client, like if I send them to my husband, he, he looks at all these bills to make sure that, you know, the expenses are along the lines of the budget and we're not overspending and he knows all the things that have happened in the buildings. And if he says, hey, Linda, what is this? What did we spend $36.44 at Lowe's? We can just click here and I can pull it up. Or he can click it and pull it up if he logs into QuickBooks online. So that's how basically I work in some of the steps in HubDoc. Um, a lot of the bills are different. Some come in via email. Some come in snail mail. And I'll scan them. With HubDoc, you have to... Even though it's automated, I still like to double check, did my, and I do it a lot of times when I'm paying the bills, did the bill come in with the attached document? Did the reference number come in when the details were pulled in through QuickBook, uh, through HubDoc? Did the reference number pull in when the details were pulled in through HubDoc? 
those are things I like to look at. Is the amount correct? Sometimes if you scan them, if they get stuck or they're a little crooked, you just need to check it because it's not a perfect science yet, but it's definitely saving time with automation. And who doesn't love that? And it's also the best thing about it is I've got all my documents attached to my transactions which means I no longer have to worry about filing all that stuff. I've got copies. And I'll go into this a little bit later on how you button up the year and kind of tie off the year's receipts. But I hope that's helpful. I hope this will give you an idea of how I work in HubDoc with this particular company. And it's different from all, for all the companies, but this really works well. The client can very easily just click to log into HubDoc on their phone and then just take a photograph. It's just like taking a picture on your phone and then just hit upload. And then it's there for me within seconds. So you can't beat that. So if you have any questions or comments about HubDoc or any of the other apps you want me to look into, I'm actually gonna be looking into a new one very shortly. Um, LedgerSync, I got an invite, so I'm gonna take a peek at that one. But if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Facebook and I'll see if I can get you the information you need to know. <laughs> Thank you, have a great weekend, bye now.